Hi guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another video for you, and today what I've got for you is actually just a little bug that I've come across in Assassin's Creed Origins this morning, whilst trying to make a video, um, and it's something that I can see quite a few people have complained about online, so I thought I'd just do a quick video on it. Um, what it is, it's resolution changes, it also affects the field of view, which I haven't figured out yet, but basically, if you change the resolution, whether you lower it, up it or for me for example I need to switch it to 21.9 so I can do some ultra wide benchmarks then what happens is the game just crashes so look we'll just quick click apply there and as you can see the game has crashed um, which has obviously been an absolute nightmare because I said I'd do some ultra wide benchmarks um, you know this is the last game that I need to add to the videos and I can't get it in 21.9 or you know maybe you want to lower the resolution maybe you're on a 2k monitor or 4k monitor and you haven't got a graphics card that can drive it that high so you might want to lower the resolution even though I don't really recommend doing it because it gets blurry but yeah for, for whatever reason you can't change it so what you need to do is open up GeForce Experience click on the game click details and then go to custom settings and for example the ones that I wanted to do today was I said I was going to start doing some 2560 by 1080 videos which is what I was trying to set it to so now if I click apply and you can change any other settings you want but it doesn't really matter because we're just going to click play and hopefully it launches the game And here we go and see the game launching. It has been a little buggy. Sometimes I've had to do a restart. But once you've got this set, it will keep your resolution set anyway. So you can go in and change the settings as I'll show you in a second. So hopefully we should have an ultra wide resolution now. I know I don't normally make videos like this, I just thought, you know, why I'm making this game in footage, it wouldn't take me long to show it. Um, I'm not doing any editing, hence why we're doing loads of chatting in between these screens. But um, yeah, if you want to see this um, running at 2560 by 1080 GTX 1060 um, with a i5 8400, make sure you go over to the channel. I'm going to be doing lots of ultra wide benchmarks in the future, as well as 1920 by 1080 2K and 4K videos. So. Yeah, if this is the first time you've uh, heard of me, make sure you go over to the channel. So, you can already tell here anyway that we've got the resolution. There we go, 2560 by 1080. Um, you can then change your graphics to whatever you want. So, you can set them to whatever settings you want. Click apply. And it should restart the game. We'll just, I'll do a double check here for you. So, it'll restart the game. I'm more instantly be able to tell by what the river tuner overlay looks like. Um, it doesn't seem to be an issue with MSI Afterburner or river tuner to me. Um, it does. I've tested it without, and I'm still finding the same issue. So it's definitely something to do with the latest patch. I can't remember which patch it's on actually, but it did do an update yesterday. I updated um, all my games, so yeah, you can definitely see we've got river tuners looking more refreshed. I'll go into the settings for you. Sorry, this is a completely unscripted last minute video, so it's more just to help anyone out that's having the same issue that I had. Look. Loading times. I need to get an SSD for my games, but buying them for all my test rigs would be super expensive. So, we have the resolutions that we wanted. And we have the graphics setting that we wanted. So there you go. There's just a quick fix if you're getting a crash, whether it's either, you know, changing the aspect ratio, changing the resolution. I think field of view will still make it crash as well. Let's have a look if we change field of view. Oh, no. So field of view is fine. So you can change field of view. Anyway, just a quick video from me there. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out. If there is another step or something that should have been done, if anybody else is having a similar issue but done it a different way, please put a comment in the description below. The only way we can fix games is if everyone sort of, you know, tells them the fix. 